Welcome to our video on how to manage your inventory health. In this training, you'll learn about the Manage Inventory Health page in Seller Central, which can help you maintain your inventory performance metrics and health. The Manage Inventory Health page is for sellers who want to manage their overstock inventory, avoid aged inventory, reduce storage costs, and optimize storage and restock limits. It uses a variety of metrics across sales, shipment, and fee data to help you make informed decisions about repricing, advertising, or removals. If you have any overstock or aged inventory, it means you have excess products, usually because of a lack of demand or low sales of that product. It's important to keep any aged or overstock inventory low to help you reduce or avoid any long-term storage fees. Any overstock or aged inventory that's been in a fulfillment center for 365 days or more is subject to a long-term storage fee. We recommend you maintain enough inventory to cover 30 to 60 days of expected sales over the same time period. FBA sell-through is a great metric to help you manage this level of cover. The FBA sell-through rate is the units that have been shipped over the past 90 days divided by the average number of units on hand in our fulfillment centers during that same period. Try to maintain a sell-through rate of at least 2.0 for your products. To get to the Manage Inventory Health page, sign in to Seller Central. Open the main menu, hover over Inventory, then click Manage Inventory. Click Manage Inventory Health. Here's another way you can navigate to this page. Open the main menu, hover over Inventory, then click Inventory Planning. Click Manage Inventory Health at the top of the page. You can customize your inventory health metrics by clicking Table Preferences on the right side of the Manage Inventory Health page. Choose among metrics across sales, fees, and pricing, as well as excess and aged inventory. Customizing these metrics will help you view units in working, shipped, or received status. In the Table Preferences pop-up window, consider adding the Storage Volume metric to your page. This allows you to sort by your largest volume products. You can filter your products by storage type or find the products with the highest number of excess units, the lowest sell-through rate, or both. Then you can act on those products to optimize your inventory within your storage and restock limits. To learn more about these metrics, hover over the eye icon for each metric to see the definition and other important information. You can also choose from multiple filters to group products with similar inventory characteristics, such as age, storage type, and product condition. These filters can make it easier to decide what recommended actions to take. You can view up to 250 ASINs per page by using the drop-down menu at the bottom of the page. This can help you better control the number of products you want to see on the page. By using the Search feature, you can find items that have similar product characteristics, such as SKU, ASIN, or any product detail like color or quantity. You can then sort, filter, and act on these items. It's also easy to create a removal or liquidation order by individual ASIN or in bulk. Select the checkbox to the left of each product that you want to remove or liquidate and open the Bulk Action drop-down menu. Then go to the Recommendation column and check the box Create Removal Order. Your inventory will be entered automatically into the Removal or Liquidation Order workflow. You can liquidate up to 50 products at a time. As we wrap up this video, let's review what you've learned. The Manage Inventory Health page can help you maintain any excess or aged inventory in a consolidated view. Different inventory health metrics and filters can help you review your inventory and make strategic decisions about your stock. Finally, remember that you can navigate to this page directly through your Seller Central dashboard. This concludes our video on how to manage your inventory health. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store.